Hi loves. So today we're going to learn how you can do crochet and do multiple style with your crochet hair. So let us get started. This is my hair with uh, before braiding. I'm just combing and then I'll do braids out of the camera and I am showing you the braids here. That's the two braids in the front and then one on the left, one on the right and then I connected it to the back and then I have those small braids. You can see but I have my side part as you can see there. And then uh, I connected a small braid and uh, I mean at the back from the crown of my head to the back I just did those cornrows, the big ones, medium ones and then I have that thin uh, cornrow at the back also. So you can use any hair that you have, any hair that you want. You can use kinky, you can use curly hair as long as it's crocheted hair but you can use any kind of hair that you, of your choice and then you can just do this. Then I'm separating the, the hair, the extension like that in like small pieces and then I'm going to start doing the crochet you can see how my braids are connected at the back so I'm inserting the needle going towards my neck and then I'm pulling the strand of the hair and then I'll like twist it twist it several times and then I'll take one strand of the braid and then insert it in the loop and then another time and then just tie a knot so in that way it will be seamless at the back we're creating like an invisible crochet around the perimeter of our head also just around the around the head that's why we have that thin braid around from the front to the back and make sure it's connected like that it's like one one thin cornrow at the back like that so i keep using the same method i as i go if you don't understand what i'm saying honey you can also pause the video repeat the video so that we can all get this so i'm twisting twisting again twisting several times three to four times and then take one strand of the hair and just insert i mean uh tie a knot so that's how you're not gonna see those uh, knots that you close so it's gonna be like that smooth and seamless and i I mean I did the crochet very close to each other so I'm going to continue with the same process. You can see my crochet needle goes outwards not inwards. I'm directing it outwards. See so I did that around from ear to ear. I'm just going to continue until where those thin braids ends. Yes. So see it has to face the needle or the crochet needle i mean has to face outwards and not inwards so i'm twisting and then take one strand and then tie a knot twist again and tie it tie, tie a knot again just by one strand of the hair and not two if you tie two then you're gonna see those knots and we don't need that so i'm gonna go to the next side no i'm still finishing here we're not done yet so i'm gonna do it like that the needle faces outward and you pull the braid inside inward the hair strand inward and then you tie a knot so i'll keep doing the same method until i finish this part i'm sorry if i'm like stuck so much i'm stacking so much i really don't know why you know days are not the same so i just keep doing that until we are done you can see you don't see any knots any you know you just see it seamless it's seamless it's very smooth it's very it's invisible you don't see the knots so that's how i did around the perimeter of my head to the back yeah so now we're going to do the part that's my part you can do the middle part the side part i like uh i chose to do the side part on this one so the needle goes to the direction of your part, okay, where the parting is. So that's what I do. And then I do the same process. I twist. And there, here at the parting place, I mean where the part is, I'm just, the hair is more thinner, you know, because we want it to be more natural and we don't want it to be bulky. So yeah, tie a knot and that's it. And then that's how I got this to look like that. And then I'm gonna do the other side. I did it and then I'm just gonna finish it up to show you. The needle goes through the part. 
that means that crochet needle faces the direction of the part where the part is so that you have this invisible part okay I keep doing the same thing I'm showing you some more so always when you want to do a seamless uh, crochet or an invisible crochet make sure that you have to place the needle the right direction and do the knots the right way so now i'm just gonna fill in that gap i'm not gonna do much i'm just gonna do you can do that regular crochet and then you don't need to do anything special here i'm just filling out the gaps da -da 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 -da. the most important thing was the around the head and the front part and the the parting space where the part is so now i'm just filling in and filling in you can fill into the to your desired look since i want to wear this in different styles so i did like i filled in a lot so now i'm just doing the baby hairs and this is how it looks you can see how seamless that looks and you see that part it's amazing it looks very natural and i didn't do any leave out i braided all my hair my natural hair is all in braids i didn't have any leave out now we're gonna trim the hair i'm just gonna use that uh, razor comb or you can use scissors yeah anything that you have you can use to trim your hair now i'm showing you you how you can do with your your scissors you kind of like drag the scissors and not cut it in blunt so this is how the hair looks after trimming it it looks really amazing and it's very lightweight so it's not heavy big hair don't care and i love 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 the look i love the part i love how fluffy and beautiful it is i have i love how natural it is i'm gonna show you the second style so the second style we are going to like pull the hair backwards and then we're going to create another look with this so what i'm gonna do is i'm just taking my hair taking my time with my hand I'm just fluffing the hair just to put it in place you know you see when i'm pulling my hair back you can see that hairline there oh it's very you don't see any knots from the crochet everything looks very smooth very invisible so now we're just gonna create a more natural look and a more different look so we're just gonna i mean like uh, pick out the very thin strand of hair you can use a needle doing this but i just used my hand you can use a needle you can yeah you can use your hands doing this yeah or you can use a point comb a comb that have like a pointy end but I'm just using my fingers. I think this is easy for me. So I'm just pulling out. You can see I'm pulling out a very thin strand of hair towards my face. So I'm going to do that. The f I mean, uh, all around from the front and the back also. I'm going to do that. And the sides, the back, the front so that we have it all around our head. So that's what I'm going to do. Take your time to do this don't take out very thick instead take very thin strand of hair and it's gonna look more natural you're gonna have enough just enough then i just tied my hair in a ponytail in a high bun as you can see and uh, yeah and then we're gonna deal with the hair then um, you can see I, I did it around my head all around and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take that uh, you can use scissors you can use a razor comb whatever you have just use it to trim your hair so as long as you do it the right way so i'm just like uh, cutting making them shorter so i'll do that all around and to make sure i have the uh desirable my desirable red length oh my god i make a lot of mistakes today when i'm speaking <laughs> i am sorry okay thank you so much for you guys you have subscribed and now we are so many we are a family we are growing every single day thank you for liking my videos thank you for your comments thank you for everybody who has decided to join this family and if you haven't joined please subscribe and join the family we're still growing we're still new and thank you so much for the love for trusting me so please subscribe and hit that bell button so that you can be notified every time i put a new video more is coming a lot is coming this is our final look the second style and thank you so much for watching see you on the next one if you like it comment down below bye bye